In today's video, we're opening a booster box of original Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, I have 24 packs of not all original, there's a little variation here, but almost all original packs. I'm gonna show you guys what we have as we go. But before we hop into it, let's get into the giveaway. I'll be giving away three Korean LOB cards. We have Red Eyes, Trihorn, and the Exodia, the Forbidden One. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know how do you feel about reprints? Do you like the reprint that there's like reprints of LOB? Do you think that it ruins the value? Do you think it's cool because it's fun and cheap to open compared to the old stuff? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get into this opening. I'm pretty excited. One of the only like 2017 reprints we have is I had a few of these Dark Crisis and this really rounded out to make it 24 packs. So we have like five of these, I think. But let's start off with this because it's probably the least exciting due to being a reprint and also being Dark Crisis, which is probably one of the worst original sets in terms of like excitement. I would say it's not as bad as Ancient Sanctuary, but it's still like, it's still cool. It's just like not compared to like Metal Raiders and stuff like that. We have Mustering of Dark Scorpions. We've got the Nin Ken Dog, the Zolga, Final Attack Orders, Shooting Star Bow Seal, the really eternal rest, the guardian chaist, archfiend soldier, and will we get that Exodia Necros? I'm ready for it. I mean, we've pulled it before, first edition, unlimited reprint. We've done it all, but I'm still down to do it again. Let's go. We got the Sakuretsu armor. That's an amazing card. I mean, very, very strong in like Go format and other formats like that. I mean, it, you attack, you lose your monster. That's pretty solid. Next, we have an actual original pack, a Pharaonic Guardian pack. In here, we could get the Metamorphosis. We could get the Trap Dust Shoot. A lot of valuable comments in here. And then some really cool, like, uh, you know, foils as well. I would love to see Ring of Destruction. I don't know if this is a hobby pack or not but ring of destruction would be really really cool uh hell palmer stuff like that there's a lot of good options let's see what we can get um Pharaonic guardian has the very strange cutting where like it almost feels like you're gonna get a paper cut opening these if you know what i mean timidity if you ever open them before you probably know what i'm talking about non-aggression area we got the mucus yolk the charm of shabti very nice hieroglyph lith lithograph <laughs> hieroglyph 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 lithograph you know what? It's a card, okay? Cry you all. All right, let's just keep going. Buster Rancher. I'll get it one day. We've got the Poison Mummy. The Gravekeeper's... I thought there was two because I was thinking as a reprint there's going to be a rare and then... No, it's just a rare. Gravekeeper's Watcher. Very, very cool. If we can pull like any foils out of here, it's going to be awesome. I don't know if we should expect it or not, but let's just see what we can do. Here is a Metal Raiders pack. This is looks like a reprint. So let me just show you guys a little comparison while we're doing this. This works for all the different packs that were in Legendary Collection Game Board 1 or whatever it's called. So as you can see, this Dark Crisis has the Konami logo, but it's outlined in white, as you guys can see, versus the red banner here. So this kind of like outlines the letters versus this is just a banner with Konami written in it. This is a big difference, actually. So you're like, wait, why does that matter? It tells you when it was printed. So can this Konami logo right here is always going to be either a 2013 or a 2017 print, which they did a game board in 2013 for the first time ever. It was originally a legendary collection binder, but then they changed it to a game board. This right here is the legendary collection binder edition from 2010. So they have Dark Crisis like this as well. I think the European version had two LOB Metal Raiders and two Spell Ruler, but the English version had the, the six sets we have now in the game board which included dark crisis so this logo but tells you the difference there this logo can also be a 2003 10 version so i'm going to show you guys that as well just so we can have a little little lesson here here is the difference here so as you guys can see us and canada so this one came out of a 10 it also has a much less shiny appearance if you know what i mean if you look at this it's kind of foily if you know what i mean this one's a little bit more matte not so much foil going on there. This is the 2003 10 print. This is the 2010 Legendary Collection, not Game Board, but the Binder Edition. And then finally, if we want to do the 2002 print or the 2003 before they printed it, this is the original Konami logo. So this is original unlimited. If it was first edition, it would say first edition right there. So there's your little history lesson. A lot of you guys already know this, but for all the new people that are coming in, I want everyone to, you know, know have an idea of what they're buying when they're buying these packs, because it can be really confusing when you see one for like 10 bucks and one for like 50. You're like, what's the difference? Why would I buy, buy the 50? It's the 10 bucks is way cheaper. All right, let's continue on after that mini educational lesson. Let me know if you guys like that or if you guys want me to just get to the opening. Uh, I just I think that it's good for viewers to like a lot of you guys, I think, are interested in that if you don't know already or at one point you were maybe interested here we go we have the tongyo i don't know if i did the pack trick right here illusionist faceless mage look at the hibikime very nice flame cerberus dream clown we've got the blackland fire dragon empress judge the harpy lady very cool 
And the fake trap. Wait, is that it? Okay, it's the next one. No, it's not the next one. Okay, so I guess may I don't know if it'd be after or not. We're just gonna have to do three next time. It's weird how on TCG player they've now called the Harpy Lady like original art. It's like they have this weird qualifier for it. I don't even remember what it is, but it was very confusing when I was trying to find the price of one of those. All right, let's do Dark Crisis. There's some that we only have like one pack of, so we're gonna save those for like the last round so we can do a bunch of different packs at the end. Let's see what we can get. Dark Crisis, I know the pack trick for these reprints, but for those 2010 reprints, I'm not sure. Vile Pawn, Archfiend, we got the Cyber Raider, Ultra for Tribute, Guardian Elmo, we got the Cestus of Dagla, Sakuretsu Armor, that's two out of three of the playset, Drag Down in the Grave, Sukuyomi, very nice. And then we have, oh, a Skull Archfiend of Lightning. That's a pretty good pack, because this is like a $4 rare. Then we have one of my favorite Dark Crisis cards, just a really cool artwork. It's basically Summon Skull, but with the Lightning when he's facing Weevil. I, I don't know if that's exactly what that is, but it essentially is. All right, very nice pack right there. That's a double banger. We got Sukiyomi and the Skull Archfiend of Lightning. Very, very nice. One, two, three. I think it's four here. It is four. We did it last time. We have the Gravekeeper's Curse. Very nice. We have the Banner of Courage. The Curse of Aging. That is dinged up in the corner, unfortunately. The Yomi Ship. Look at the centering on these. Not so good. Shifted that way all the way. Cry you well. Very nice centering there. Poison Mummy. A little ding there. Okay. Classic original packs. These are loose original packs. They've been they've been hanging out outside the box for a long time. It makes sense. Call of the Mummy. We got the Impachi. Very cool. And then the Winged Sage Falcos. We've got the Falcos. Very cool. Next up, let's do another Metal Raiders because we have a bunch of these, um, a few of these Legendary Collection 2010 packs. I want to remind you guys once again, if anyone responds to you in the comments about winning a giveaway, it was not me. Keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to get scammed. I want to try and remind you guys as much as I can because YouTube is doing nothing about it. So those scammers are trying to get your money. Do not pay anyone for shipping for a giveaway. I ship for free on giveaways. That's part of the giveaway. Here we go. Bickery Box. Right Kitchen Powered. Ring of Magnetism. Of the Bistro Butcher. Soul release, very nice. Mushroom Man numero dos. We've got the Trent. All right, Intwood. I mean, Int of Merc. Well, not Merkwood. Where are they? I always forget. Where are the Ints from in Lord of the Rings? I don't know. Next up, we have an elegant egotist. And will it be next? I don't know. Paralyzing Potion. I guess we're going to have to wait to find out because nothing in that one. All right, not too bad there. Let's go back to Dark Crisis. We still have a bunch of Pharaonic Guardian, actually. We have a lot of Pharaonic Guardian. Let's see if we can get something amazing. Last time, Sukiyomi and Skull Archfiend of Lightning, one of my favorite cards. Very cool. Despair from the Dark. Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. Desrook Archfiend. Battle Scarred. We haven't pulled that one in a while. Precious Cards from Beyond. Contract with Dark Master. Acrobat Monkey. There he is. All right. The Metalizing Parasite Lunatite. Very nice. And we have a DD Trainer from Duel Links making his appearance. The DD Trainer is here. All right. Pharaonic Garden. DD Trainer made his appearance. Now can we get an amazing common out of Pharaonic Garden? We're asking for commons here. I mean, that's not too much to ask, right? Not too much to ask for a common. Oh, look at this. You guys can see. That's from being in the pack with that, uh, you know, the fold right behind it. Very interesting. We have the Yomi ship. Giant Axe Mummy. Grave Keeper's Asshole. I did three. It should have been four. We got the man with the widget. The Kabuzal's an epic speed duel card for a while, I think. Card Shuffle. Very nice. All the Rux and Special. No! and special did it right to the jowls of dark demise i remember i would always try and use this card it's really bad but if you can get the effect off it's not that bad i guess okay we got a couple more metal raiders before we get into all the uh the epicness of multiple different packs there was only one copy of a lot of these like uh pharaonic not pharaonic god and Ferris servant labyrinth of nightmare magic ruler blue eyes stuff like that wing dragon guardian of the fortress numero uno we have not pulled a pecania moth yet let's go paralyzing potion bickery bickery box the baby dragon a labyrinth and tank, not nightmare. We've got the Dream Clown, Mystic Horseman, Shadow Ghoul, and will we pull an epic Gate Guardian secret rare? Let's go. Stim Pack, look at him. Look at him in that Stim Pack. It doesn't really look like a pack. It looks more like a vial. I don't know. No, no. It's kind of weird, but okay. Um, it happened. I don't even know what I was trying to say right there, but let's just keep going. Dark Crisis. So far, really our only foil out of here. So we're going to find out where these loose packs, like, you know, where they uh, unweighed, you know, where they not. We're going to find out in this video. These Dark Crisis, I got in a bunch from one guy. We've already gotten a foil out of here. So they're looking good. Final attack orders. Despair from the Dark. Desrick Archfiend. The Shadow Knight Archfiend. Archfiend's Roar. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Legendary Flame Lord and a Kelbeck.
Ferronic Guardian time. So far, no good foil. No, not even a foil, but no good commons out of here either. So can we get something out of there? Come on, let's go. Let's pull something good, guys. Let's pull something epic. We have one, two, three, four. Will it be Metamorphosis? Will it be Trap Dust Shoot? I want it to be both Poison Mummy or either. Call of the Mummy of the Enpachi. Shape Snatch, there he is. A bow tie with horrible power. It attacks an opponent by controlling others. Oh, we gotta watch out. Swarm of Locusts, very nice. Secret Pass to the Treasure, very cool Duel Links card. Trap Dust Shoot, we have pulled an epic common. This one's pretty valuable. I'm surprised this doesn't have a foil reprint at this point. I'm sure it will. It's like in an OTS at some point. The Gravekeeper's Curse, and can we get something? Pharaoh's treasure. His treasure is what? What's in that treasure? Can we see anything? Looks like some jewels. Is that a Millennium Eye in there? That's a little creepy. Okay. All right. Very interesting in that little you know box you got there. Okay. Our last legendary collection 2010 Metal Raiders pack. So far, no luck. We haven't even pulled a Pecanio Moth. Can you believe that? No Pecanio Moth. That's pretty messed up. Let's see. One, two, three. I think we did three. We have the Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Hunter Spider. Cocoon of Evolution. Mushroom Man. We've got the Trent from the Int, from the Merc, where it is. Black, black attack, whatever. Oh, and a Barrel Dragon. That snuck up. Okay, so it's in front of the rare. All right, the Barrel Dragon Ultra Rare. All right, you can barely tell this is an Ultra. This print from the 2010 are really weird. Like, you, you can barely see it. It's only like in a certain light you can really see it well. But then, like, look at this. It looks kind of flat. Really weird. Kind of a weird foiling, but a really cool card. Oh, yeah. Barrel Dragon, our first foil out of anything besides Dark Crisis. We will take that. That's a beautiful pull. Let's go back to a Ferrani Guardian pack. We still have two extra of these. We have, we'll probably just go from here and just start opening because we do have three original print Metal Raiders, which are going to be pretty cool. Like, if we can pull something out of there. That's pretty epic. Let's see what we can do. We have one, two, three, four. We already pulled the Trap Dust Shoot. Let's get the Metamorphosis. We have Impachi. There's also a really expensive card that went up to like 15 bucks. I remember when I did one of my shorts, I was like, Metamorphosis is the most expensive common. And then I like pull some random card. It was like $50. And you don't see like, I'll probably recognize it. Royal Keeper if we actually pull it. I think it was like a, like a waifu card or something. I don't know. Uh, Pyro Clock with the uh, Swarm of Locusts. The Secret Pass of the Treasure. Dice Jar. This is a good one. Still a few bucks. And we've got the Jowls of Dark Demise at it again eyeballs in a mouth i mean that is horrifying imagine getting eaten and there's eyeballs looking at you the whole time like imagine getting eaten at all that's still really creepy <laughs> all right let's go to the one of these original print metal raiders actually we have the 2003 no we'll save that okay let's do the 2002 print the original logo the only original logo packs we have are metal raiders which is cool because we could get pecanio moth which would be epic come on bless us with something amazing i think we can do four from the back on the original prints we have the swamp battle guard joey and tristan we got the tremendous fire i saw a clip rhyme style won a game with this <laughs> using tremendous fire it's kind of funny we got the trent punished eagle very nice blue winged crown we got the lava wait lava battle guard and swamp battle guard in the same pack look at that joey and tristan at it again very nice okay we have morin finn all right this name always just i don't know it's just weird Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. This is such a classic. It's only a common too. Bones got did dirty. That's all I'm saying. Next up. It looked like it was a foil. I was like, ooh, and then it was a blade fly. All right. Blade fly. Never really want to see you again. You're an insect. I mean, I do love my insects. All right. Ferrani Guardian. Back to it. Can we pull a metamorphosis? Can't we pull? Oh, we have an upside down card in the back. Does that mean something? And Pachi, let's go. Ordeal of a traveler. I feel like I never pulled this card. The Shape Snatch, the bow tie with horrible power is back again. Needle Ceiling, very nice. Timidity. The non-aggression area. No aggression here. We have the Charm of Shabti. Very cool. Pyro Clock of Destiny. And here we go. Is this it? Upside down, we have a Grave Keepers Chief. Super rare. All right. So there's our first foil out of Pharaonic Guardian. Very, very nice. I mean, this card's worth like 50 cents compared to like some of the commons being eight bucks, which is hilarious, but an original foil. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It still feels better than like a common, even if it's worth way less. Okay, let's do let's do the Dark Crisis because it's a reprint. Even though we did pull an epic pack out of one of these, let's see what we can do. Come on, reprint. Show us your worth. Show us that reprints aren't to be cast aside and disrespected. And there it is. The battle scar. We got the falling down. That's a good start. Dice reroll. Sasuke Samurai Numero Dos. We got the Archfiend's Oath. Shooting Star Bow Seal. All right. Uh, this is, act I think this was my first Prismatic in Duel Links. I got this out of like the second bag. It's completely worthless, but really eternal rest. We got the Dark Scorpion combination, and here we go. 
Ooh, a Terror King, Archfiend, another foil for Dark Crisis. That's pretty sick. So we got a Skull Archfiend of Lightning and a Terror King Archfiend. So a couple Archfiends there. That's pretty sick. Okay, now let's do a Metal Raiders because we do have three of those. Uh, we'll do one more original print, then we'll do that 2003 later. Metal Raiders is one of the best packs here, but we have so many of them, so we get to do multiple. I think we do four for the original. Archfiend, not Archfiend. I'm just using those Archfiends for Dark Crisis. The Armored Zombie, how could I forget all that armor? I mean, what would make me think he doesn't have armor on? I... I couldn't tell you. I, I really don't know. Armored Zombie, the Flame Cerberus, Battle Steer, Hiyasube, Crass Clown. He's a grass clown. Yeah. Okay. Clown. We're grass. Okay. Oh, and the Pequeno mod. Let's go. Our first English version of Pequeno. But we got the Petite Moth. This small but deadly creature is better off avoided. Well, you know what? I don't want to avoid him. Okay. I love this guy. Pequeno Moth in the chat. Let's go. And by chat, I mean the, the comments because we're not live. But Armored Lizard. Let's go. Lizard. Bistro Butcher. It's the next card. Will this be a foil? Come on. Gate Guardian. Something crazy. Let's go. A short and shield. Look at that edge wear at the bottom. That is... That is some bad cutting. They had some dull knives that day, but that, that happens. We got the Pequeno Moth. I'm happy with that pack. All right. We still have like, what, seven packs left? A lot of good stuff. Double Metal Raider still. Let's go Ferrani Guardian, our last pack here. We're looking for that Metamorphosis or that $14, uh, $14 card that I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't even know if it's still that much, but that was not that long ago. It was maybe a few weeks ago. Secret Pass to the Treasure. Very nice card. What can we get? We have a, ooh, a Metamorphosis, just like we're looking for. That's like... I think 10 bucks something like that so it goes it varies a little bit with the un unlimited stuff serving a catabolism we have the disturbance strategy very nice this reminds me of that one piece you know uh the cloud island i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about gravekeeper's guard we've got the secret pass to the treasure all right dice chart man this is a good pack so far very nice and a trap dust shoot okay trap dust shoot dice jar and metamorphosis in one pack that's pretty amazing okay Gravekeeper's Curse, and can we pull a foil to hit this? That'd be insane. Let's go. A Trap Aboard Eraser. <laughs> How many times have I pulled this card? I feel like I've pulled it a lot, but what is this artwork? What are these little guys? They're like little trolls or something? I don't know what's going on there, but that was a really good pack, so I can't be bad at the little trolls for being, <laughs> for being little trolls, you know? So far, pretty good video. I'd say not insane pulls, but like pretty decent, because like these are loose old school packs, so like, you know, expecting insane pulls or any pulls at all is like, you know, pretty unreasonable but we've done pretty good today we have a gross ghost of fled dreams the lady assailant of flams dragonic attack spherous lady flame dancer look at that guy very creepy that's all I wait his millennium eye no no it's just a, a no it's not really a millennium eye it's just i that guy is creepy i don't that's all i know that's all i know about him a monster moves while swinging its burning rope wait what burning rope where's the burning rope i see burning like pots i don't see a rope that's that's kind of weird okay fire sorcerer very cool more fire biomage nice we got the aqua spirit and what can we get here will it be epic let's go we have a mask of brutality from the mask guys loomis and umbra those guys were pretty cool okay i think we're gonna do this metal raiders from 2003 first and then we'll come back through to pharaoh's servant i believe this is these are all from a tin these last five packs besides the metal raiders pack the extra metal raiders pack i believe i would guess but i don't really know we have the uh, Tongyo, Lava Battle Guard, the Morinfin, very cool. The Unhappy Maiden. We've got Trent, Punished Eagle, Armored Zombie is back at it again. He's very armored. The Flame Cerberus, and here we go. What will we pull? We have a Witch of the Black Forest, one of the best rares in the set. So that's a pretty good pull. We will take that, but not a foot. Four packs to go. Pharaoh's Servant. Here we go. Pharaoh's Servant. We have the Flying Kamikiri Numero Dos. Let's go. Light of Intervention. Steel Ogre Grotto Number Two. The Earthshaker. Mr. Volcano. Flying Kamikiri Numero Dos. We got the Three Headed Guido. Infinite Dismissal. Bubonic Vermin. Vermin. And here we go. The Red Moon Baby. So how does this guy work? Does he just have like a moon behind him all the time that's red? Or does he make the actual moon red? How does that work exactly? Because the moon's not red. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I don't know how he's going to be the Red Moon Baby if there's no red moon. So I don't know if it like floats around behind him or whatever. It's pretty weird. All right, Magic Ruler, let's go. Magic Ruler from 2003. So this might be a 10 pack. Uh, if it has a spell written on one of the magic cards, we'll know, which we'll know right here because there it is. There's a spell written on it. So you know it's a 2003 pack for sure. I mean, you already knew 2003, but it's probably a 10 pack. We have the Whiptail Crow. We have a performance of Sword. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Magical Labyrinth. Darkness Approaches. Kotodama. 
Octoburser or Octoburser, whichever one you like. We have the Hungry Burger. All right, we're pulling some good comments today. And the Heo Zanru. That's a nice rare as well. Very cool card. Bastion card. We will take that, but not a foil. We're still looking for those. Okay, we're down to the last two. We got to go Metal Raiders, I guess. Save uh, LOB for the last. Because I've done this before. Where I was like, no, we're saving uh, Metal Raiders for last. And then we pulled Blue Eyes out of LOB. Could have been last pack magic, but I ruined it. So I don't know. We're going to do that. Just in case there's a Blue Eyes in there. We have one, two, three, four. Let's go, Metal Raiders. We have Hibikime. Very nice. Kaminari attack. Giga Tech Wolf. An Iron Wolf with razor sharp fangs that can penetrate any armor. Wow, that's pretty good. Sagi the Dark Clown. A classic. Jurai Gumo, also a classic. Blackland Fire Dragon, the Steel Scorpion. We've got a Prevent Rat. What does he prevent exactly? I don't know. Does he prevent other rats or is he a rat that's preventing? I don't know. Oh, we have a Robin Goblin. There it is. Just a regular old rare. These Metal Raiders, man. That's rough. No big pulls out of those, uh, those original prints, but we still have the Legend of Blue Eyes. Could be a Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia Head, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Monster Reborn, Gaia the Dragon Champion, Trihorn. Okay. All right, let's not get carried away. Raigeki, Dark. Okay, let's just name every foil before we do it. Let's see if we can pull something good. We have the Furious Sea King, One Eyed Shield Dragoon. Very nice. We'll take that. Umi. The Hinotama Soul. Very nice. The Sogan. Mystical Sheep Numerodos. The Tripwire Beast is the final pack of the opening, so make sure you guys, if you've enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, because at 150k, we're opening every pack ever made in first edition, so keep that in mind. Very nice. Skull Red Bird. And the Cherubin, the Fire Knight. All right, so the pulls were not insane today, but we pulled a few cool things, and it's always fun to open those old packs, even if they aren't like foils and stuff. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then a tie show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.